You know, when future generations of kids open up their history books and look back on the era that we currently live in, one of the things that they're going to shake their heads about is why for so long we've been using passwords to secure our most sensitive information. They might even have to Google the word password because it's going to be meaningless to them. Instead, they're going to be using the word passkey. And that's because passkeys are replacing passwords. It won't happen overnight, but it has already started. And the first thing to note is this is not just an Apple thing. All the main tech vendors have agreed to start using passkeys and to implement the technology in the same way, which is why it's going to work. For example, you can use the passkeys that you create in Safari on your own Mac to log into one of your accounts on someone else's Windows PC using a Chrome browser and everything's going to work just fine and the process will be completely secure. You won't need to remember a password and you won't receive an SMS verification code to validate you. You'll simply scan a QR code and Face ID on your iPhone will authenticate you. Accessing accounts on one of your own devices is of course going to be even easier. Simply confirm you're using Passkey and you'll be in. Passkeys should also hopefully eliminate all those nasty phishing emails and messages that try and scam you into handing over your passwords because passkeys don't use passwords. Instead, they use encryption keys, which on Apple devices are saved in your keychain. Your iPhone, iPad or Mac then just uses Face ID or Touch ID to confirm that it's you. To start using passkeys, you first need to make sure you're saving your accounts to Keychain. To do this on an iPhone, iPad or Mac, open Settings and scroll down to Passwords. In Password Options, make sure iCloud Passwords and Keychain is enabled. If you're planning on transitioning away from a password manager such as LastPass or Bitwarden to start using Keychain, then make sure both options are ticked. This will allow you to log into an account using your password manager and then save those credentials into Keychain. You'll also want to make sure that you're using iCloud to sync your Keychain across all your Apple devices. So you'll want to have this option enabled in your iCloud settings. When creating a new account using a passkey, you'll be asked to provide a username or email address as per normal. You'll then be asked if you wish to use passkey and your device will then automatically generate the encryption key pair for your account and use biometrics to authenticate you. And then that's it, your new account is set up. Your passkey will be stored in Keychain and synced across all your Apple devices. So the next time you want to log into the same account on a different device, say your iPhone, you'll simply choose to sign in with passkey and Keychain will do the rest. Upgrading an account to use passkey is just as easy. You log into your account using your existing username and password. Here I'm logging into eBay using the credentials I have saved in Keychain. Having logged in, eBay prompts me if I wish to upgrade my account to passkey, so I click turn on, followed by continue, and I'm all done. My account has now been upgraded to use passkey, and as you can see, I have my original eBay account credentials and my new passkey credentials saved to my list of passwords. You can also share passkeys, say if you want one of your family members to have access to one of your accounts. Find the account that you wish to share in settings, click the share icon and airdrop it to them like so. The beauty of passkeys is that your account credentials are then saved to the other person's keychain and they can use their own face ID or touch ID to authenticate themselves and access the account. It is worth noting that for security reasons, this will only work with AirDrop. You can't, for example, email or message your passkey credentials to someone else. As I demonstrated earlier in the video, accessing accounts on a computer or device you don't own is similarly just as easy. Provide your username or email address and choose the option to use passkey. Because your account credentials will not exist on the computer you're using, you'll be prompted to authenticate yourself using a QR code. Scan the code using either your iPhone or tablet and a combination of keychain and either face or touch ID will be used to authenticate you. Passkey technology is slowly being rolled out across websites and by vendors, but it will take some time 
before it completely phases out the use of passwords altogether. You can see from this website that there still are only a handful of sites that are using pass keys. And whilst creating this video, I have to admit, I did come across some issues in its implementation. For example, after upgrading my eBay account to use Passkey, I then deleted my original eBay username and password from my keychain. However, when I then tried to sign in to my eBay app using my iPad, the app would not recognize my Passkey. Scrolling through my list of accounts, it didn't display my eBay Passkey as an option. So whilst I am convinced that Passkeys are the future and I still recommend to upgrade to Passkeys where possible, don't delete any of your old passwords from Keychain just yet. Not until you're confident that everything is working correctly. It's also worth mentioning third-party password managers and two-factor authentication. For many years, I've been using Bitwarden as a password manager and Authy as my two-factor authentication app. Whilst it is possible to export passwords from Bitwarden, I don't think it's possible to import them into Keychain which is why I earlier suggested enabling both Keychain and your password manager in your device settings. The same issue exists for two-factor authentication apps. You can't export your codes from the app to import them into Keychain. For this reason, if you do upgrade your accounts to Passkey, I highly recommend disabling two-factor authentication on the accounts beforehand. Two-factor authentication is built into Passkey, so you don't have to worry about it being any less secure. But as I said, don't be too hasty in deleting your original username and password or your 2FA codes until you're completely confident that Passkey is working correctly across all your devices. So that is Passkey and how to use it on all your Apple devices. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tutorials on all your favorite apps. On this channel, I create shorter videos that hopefully just give you the facts without any extra fluff. And if you have any questions or recommendations for a video, I'd love to hear from you. So be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below. And you might also be interested in learning how to get the most out of the workout app on your Apple Watch or a new messaging app that might be more secure than Signal. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.